Welcome to the Daily Quiz Podcast. Today's category is sports and leisure. Let's get to it. Question 1. In which race did Janet Guthrie become the first woman to compete in 1977? Is it A. The Daytona 500 B. The Indy 500 C. The Monaco Grand Prix Or D. The 24 Hours of Le Mans The answer is B. The Indy 500 Janet Guthrie made history in 1977 by becoming the first woman to compete in the prestigious Indianapolis 500, also known as the Indy 500. Despite facing skepticism and prejudice, Guthrie proved her mettle by finishing in a respectable 29th place. Her trailblazing achievement opened doors for future female racers in a male-dominated sport. Question 2 what is the perfect score in a game of 10-pin bowling? Is it A. 300 B. 200 C. 240 Or D. 330 The answer is A. 300 In the exhilarating game of 10-pin bowling, achieving a perfect score is the ultimate goal. To accomplish this feat, a player must knock down all 10 pins in each of the 10 frames, earning a maximum of 30 points per frame. This adds up to an impressive and elusive total score of 300, making it every bowler's dream. Question 3. Which of these is a baseball team based in San Diego? Is it A. San Diego Eagles B. San Diego Padres C. San Diego Celtics or D. San Diego Bears The answer is B. San Diego Padres The San Diego Padres, a major league baseball team based in San Diego, have a unique claim to fame. In 1997, during a game against the Atlanta Braves, the Padres mascot, the swinging friar, accidentally caught on fire after his robe brushed against an open flame. Luckily, he was quickly extinguished and no one was injured. Talk about bringing some unexpected heat to the game. Question 4. Which American gymnast won the vault at every U.S. championship she competed in from 2014 to 2021, a total of six times? Is it A. Mary Lou Retton B. Simone Biles C. Gabby Douglas Or D. Ali Raisman The answer is B. Simone Biles Simone Biles, the incredible American gymnast, dominated the vault event at the U.S. Championships from 2014 to 2021, winning it a staggering six times in a row. With her unmatched skills and gravity-defying flips, she proved time and again why she is considered one of the greatest gymnasts of all time. Question 5. What sport do the following terms belong to tight end and wide receiver? Is it A. Baseball B. Basketball C. American Football Or D. Soccer The answer is C. American Football In American football, the positions of tight end and wide receiver are crucial for a team's offense. While both positions involve catching passes, there's an interesting difference. Tight ends are typically bigger and stronger, often used for blocking as well, while wide receivers are known for their speed and agility in running routes to catch long passes. Question 6. Which country hosted the 1994 FIFA World Cup? Is it A. United States B. Spain C. France or D. South Africa? The answer is A. United States. 
The 1994 FIFA World Cup held in the United States was not only a milestone for soccer, but it also introduced a revolutionary innovation, the first ever use of goal line technology. This groundbreaking system, known as the spike system, helped referees determine whether or not a ball had crossed the goal line, ensuring fair play and accurate decisions. Question 7. What sport was first introduced into the Olympics in 2000? Is it A. Golf B. Trampoline C. Squash Or D. Wrestling The answer is B. Trampoline. In 2000, the Olympics took a leap into new heights by introducing trampoline as an official sport. Athletes showcase their gravity-defying skills, bouncing and flipping through the air with precision and grace. This addition brought a whole new level of excitement to the games, proving that even in sports, sometimes you just need to bounce back. Question 8. If you're killing a Goomba, what game are you playing? Is it A. Halo B. Super Mario Brothers C. Zelda or D. Call of Duty The answer is B. Super Mario Brothers Did you know that the iconic enemy known as the Goomba in Super Mario Brothers was actually inspired by a Japanese food item called Karibo? Karibo is a chestnut with a spiky outer shell, and its resemblance to the Goomba's design led to its creation as one of Mario's most recognizable foes. Question 9. With which sport is Margaret Smith Court associated? Is it A. Snooker B. Tennis C. Volleyball Or D. Rugby Union The answer is B. Tennis. Margaret Smith Court, the legendary Australian tennis player, holds an astonishing record of 24 Grand Slam singles titles. However, what makes her even more remarkable is that she also won 19 Grand Slam doubles titles and 21 Grand Slam mixed doubles titles. She truly dominated the tennis world in every category. Thanks for joining us on this sporty journey. We hope you hit a home run with your knowledge and scored some leisurely fun. Until next time, stay in the game. I'm Montgomery Jones. And I'm Amalia Dupre. Farewell until tomorrow. Have a good one wherever you are. This episode is produced by Classic Studios. See the show notes page for sources and credits. Check out our other podcasts in our network at ClassicStudios.com.